41. Circle the strongest acid. Determine the effect associated with each example. Think about why one molecule is stronger in acidity than the other molecule. Is it because of the inductive effect, hybridization, electronegativity, electron delocalization, or atomic size? So for the first example, we're comparing NH2 with PH2. On a periodic table, we have these elements. Below nitrogen is phosphorus, below oxygen is sulfur, and then here are the halogens. So in this example, we're comparing nitrogen and phosphorus. So when we're looking at two elements in the same column, either we're looking at the electronegativity or atomic size. Now, because these elements are directly attached to the hydrogen, atomic size will be more relevant. The element that is bigger will be able to stabilize the negative charge on the conjugate base. Atomic size increases as you go down. Phosphorus is bigger than nitrogen. So this is going to be more acidic because the conjugate base is going to be better stabilized by a bigger phosphorus atom. Phosphorus will be in a better position to handle that negative charge than nitrogen. So this is the correct answer, and the reason is due to atomic size. Now let's look at number two. Here we have an amino acid, which is glycine, and here we have acetic acid. We know the pKa for acetic acid is 4.75. For the amino acid, the carboxylic acid has a pKa of around 2.2, 2.3. The NH3, that's like 9 to 10. So this one is clearly way more acidic than acetic acid. Now, what is the reason why the amino acid is more acidic than the carboxylic acid? So here we have a nitrogen atom. That nitrogen is not directly attached to the hydrogen. So atomic size doesn't apply here. The reason why this carboxylic acid is more acidic is because nitrogen is electronegative and it can pull electrons through the sigma bond by means of the inductive effect. So it's not just electronegativity, but more specifically the inductive effect. But electronegativity does play a role in that example. So the primary reason is the inductive effect. The secondary reason is electronegativity. So because nitrogen is electronegative, it can pull electrons by means of the inductive effect. But if I had a test, if this was a test, I would pick inductive effect over, ele over electronegativity. If the inductive effect wasn't there, then I would pick electronegativity. Number three, so here we're comparing two hydrogen atoms. One is on a double bond, the other is on a single bond. So the hybridization is different. Here we have a hydrogen on an sp2 carbon. Here it's on an sp3 carbon. We know the alkene is more acidic than the alkane, so that's going to be the answer. The pKa for an alkene is 44. For an alkane, it's about 50 to 60. So the answer for this is, this is the strongest acid, or the stronger acid rather, but the reason is due to hybridization. Here this is the inductive effect, and this is atomic size. Now for the fourth example, we're comparing sulfur and phosphorus. When you're comparing two different elements in the same row, there's only one reason it could be, and that is electronegativity. Sulfur is more electronegative than phosphorus. Electronegativity increases to the right, so this is going to be the answer. So we're going to put EN for the reason. Now for number five, we're looking at the alpha hydrogens. The alpha hydrogen next to a ketone has a pKa of 19. This alpha hydrogen between two ketones that are one three apart this is much less, it's 9. 
Now the question is, why is this so much more acidic? What is the answer? Is it the inductive effect? Is it hybridization? It's not hybridization because the hydrogens, they're both next to an sp2 carbon. So it's not going to be hybridization. Is it electron delocalization? Is it atomic size? It's not atomic size because we don't have any different elements. All the elements are the same. It's not electronegativity. The elements are the same. So is it the inductive effect or electron delocalization? The inductive effect, you're pulling electrons through the sigma bond. But electron delocalization, that's when, you're, that's when you start moving the pi electrons. If we were to take off the hydrogen, we would have a lone pair. And this lone pair can move into the carbonyl group. So it's delocalized. So the reason why this is relatively acidic compared to an alkane is because we can put the negative charge on an oxygen. That's why the pKa is so much different here. But in this example, we could put the negative charge on two oxygen atoms. Even though the carbonyl groups, they do exert an inductive effect on hydrogen, that's not the major reason. That's not the strongest reason. The strongest effect has to do with electron delocalization. So the answer is primarily electron delocalization. The secondary answer is the inductive effect because these are electronegative electron withdrawing groups. So you do have some electronegative atoms here. You could put electronegativity as a third reason, but it's a minor reason because both of these have the same electronegative atoms, but this one has two of them. So the reason why this one is more acidic, the primary reason is electron delocalization, which is equivalent to saying resonance stabilization of the conjugate base. You could put the negative charge on two oxygen atoms. The secondary reason is inductive effect because these are electronegative atoms and they could pull electrons through the sigma bond. But that's just not the primary reason. So this is the primary reason, secondary, and you could make an argument that, hey, we got some electronegative oxygen atoms, so that will contribute to the acidity as well. Now, I do have one more example, and here it is. So, which one is the stronger acid? Looking at the indicated hydrogen atoms, which hydrogen is more acidic? And what's the reason? So this is just a regular alkane hydrogen, which is going to be 50 to 60. Now, this hydrogen is not directly attached to the double bond. However, it's on the allylic position, and, it, and that makes it special. So this is going to be around 40 to 50. If we take off this hydrogen, if we draw the conjugate base, the negative charge is localized on a primary carbon. If we take off this hydrogen, the negative charge can delocalize among two carbon atoms. So we can draw resonance structures. It's better to have a negative charge over two carbon atoms as opposed to one. So this is going to be the stronger acid because the conjugate base is relatively more stable than this one. So the answer has to do with electron delocalization or resonance stabilization of the conjugate base.